Hey guys, in this video, we are going to answer the question, does masturbation cause watery sperm or does masturbation lead to watery semen? So many of my patients, you know, come with a frequent complaint and they ask me the question, dear doctor, does masturbation or does repeated masturbation or excessive sperm release cause or lead to watery sperm? Will, I, will, will it reduce my sperm count in any way? And you know, how, what is the frequency of masturbation that you know that I can do so that my sperm count is not affected? So first thing and first and foremost you know if you have checked out my previous videos on masturbation or you know there's a separate playlist i have linked to masturbation on the top right somewhere in the top right hand corner of my screen i made a, a, a series of video based on masturbation do check that out and of course what's important to know here is coming back to this question does masturbation lead to watery sperm what you must understand here is that the if you look at the image on the right semen is basically made out of secretions of three major organs right one is the prostate other one is called as the seminal vesicles and third, it's the testis. So what basically happens with repeated masturbation or excessive sperm release or repeated sperm release, the semen is going to become watery. And why is it going to become watery? Because one, there is an imbalance between the prostate secretion and the seminal vesicle sec secretion. Number two, what also changes is the sperm density per ml of semen. So what's important to understand here is that semen in semen contains secretion of prostate seminal vesicle and also contains testicular fluid which contains spermatozoa. So when the sperm count, you know, basically with repeated masturbation, the overall sperm density per ml, like repeated masturbation, you know, would be like doing three times a day, two times a day or daily, you know, over a very long period of time. With daily ejaculations, what basically happens, sperm density per ml will come down after the first week or after the second week. And what you will notice is that your semen is going to become watery. So is there a normal frequency to masturbation? I would say no, there's no normal frequency to masturbation because in general, I would request you guys to avoid the whole habit or the process of masturbation itself. The masturbation as a behavior is okay up to a particular age, you know, but once you enter a stable relationship, once you enter a marriage or once you're you know, with a stable life partner, you really don't need masturbation, right? Like I said in my previous videos, masturbation is like a walking stick, guys. You really don't have to, you know, do it. It saves you, you know, avoiding masturbation you know, actually helps you in the long run because one, you're oriented to your partner, you have good desire, your erectile function is going to be good, you won't suffer from premature ejaculation and you can save yourself a ton of problems going forward into your relationship. And you will also not have to deal with watery sperm salmon or worries about watery sperm. You know, you don't have to, you know, I've had patients, you know, who visit multiple, you know, andrology centers or semen analysis testing labs you know, when they see the semen as what they're so worried and paranoid, they think they're suffering from infertility. So, you know, why deal with all that, guys? So, avoid masturbation and you're good to go. If you don't masturbate frequently, say if you masturbate once a week or once in 10 days or once a month, you're not married and you're masturbating just so that you don't want to go out to a commercial sex work, you don't want to engage in casual sexual intercourse, maybe it's okay for a period of time. But remember, you need to enter into a stable relationship, you need to stop the habit in the long run, guys. So avoid masturbation at all costs. And yes, masturbation can lead to watery sperm. The solution is to stop masturbation. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe and share this video with all your friends and loved ones. This is Dr. Shah. I'll see you back with another video soon.